I am a primary care physician and I'm frustrated and this is not what I signed up for. I'm tired of our sick care model and I'm not choosing not to participate. I got in this to help people get well, not harm them, protect them, lead them, teach them. And that's not what I'm seeing in the healthcare system. And so I'm choosing to take a different approach as a doctor for the sake of people that are relying on us to teach them how to be healthy. Someone tell me why. Why is it, why don't doctors tell you to take something as simple as magnesium instead of a stool softener? Knowing that the stool softener dehydrates your bowels. Why don't doctors tell, why don't doctors tell you to take D3 in the winter? Because you can't get it from the sun. It's gone, depending on where you live in the country. And it radically improves the immune system and impacts your sleep. Why don't doctors tell you to change your diet? You know, when you're having heartburn or indigestion, your body's literally revolting against you instead of giving you something like Prilosec or Nexium, knowing that studies show that they're linked to kidney failures and osteoporosis. Why don't doctors tell you to focus on herbs or certain foods to heal? Why don't doctors tell you to lower the toxic chemicals that are inside of your house, knowing that it's 100 times more toxic in your house than outside? that might be causing you your constant headaches or your allergies. All the fragrances and chemicals and the toxic buildup that gets into our cells are what creates these things. Why aren't you informed by your doctor that if you eat something as simple as a grapefruit every day, that it'll support lowering your blood pressure naturally and you don't need or might not need a medication? That's why a person that's taking a blood pressure drug can't take anything with grapefruit in it. The same thing applies with a blood thinner telling people they can't eat green food. Why don't you just eat the green food? Why doesn't your doctor tell you to take something like an activated charcoal because it just soaks up toxins for like your headaches or maybe you're bloated or you have skin problems telling you that your gut is backed up or you have you know some kind of food poisoning because activated charcoal bonds those and removes them from the body. It's real simple. Why don't doctors tell you to Use herbs or herbal teas to manage your pains or support your immune system or support your digestive function. Knowing that these different herbs can help your organs. Proven. have a lot of science on it. Why don't doctors, instead of suggesting you uh, to take a prescription drug, why don't they give you something as simple as a probiotic every single day? To help support your gut health and your immune health, knowing that we have all these friendly bacteria inside of us that need help. Why don't doctors create diets and lifestyle plans for patients instead of offering pills? When we know that over 90% of disease is due to lifestyle, why don't we spend the majority of our time trying to prevent disease instead of treating it? Why don't doctors tell you to take something like a supplement to support your health prior to becoming sick? When we know that supplements and herbs can help prevent these things. Why don't doctors teach you to manage your emotions because that stress that anxiety is going to lead to physical bodily damage and the strain that you're under can play a significant role in your overall health. Why don't doctors take a real role in helping people be healthy in their lives? Does it make sense to me? Why aren't we helping people get healthy instead of taking care of them after they get sick? I think it needs to change. I believe that real health is possible. I believe that you're the solution. I believe that the greatest doctor in the world is inside of you. We're just messing it up. I believe it's possible for you to live good. We're just not getting the right information.